Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Last time we talked about the style editor and today we're going to be talking about the level palette and the different buttons that we got going on over here. So first things first, we'll talk about this little lock in the corner. This is probably the most straightforward one. It locks your layers. You cannot apply styles. You cannot delete styles. You can add styles, but then you can't delete it. It won't let you remove the style. Um, you also cannot add new pages while in lock node. So to unlock it, oh, and the other thing you can't do in lock mode is you can't rename colors, whereas if you double click while you're not in lock mode, you can recolor name it some ironic name like red slash, which, yeah, the slash was an accident, I'll admit it. Um, I'm going to make that a fun color. Let's make it less ironic. Next thing we got over here is thumb your views. You can do small thumbnail view, large thumbnail view, list view, stu style name, studio palette, and both names. Notice nothing happened in list view. If you go to thumbnails, let's see. Um, if you go to thumbnails, very little happens unless you are in a studio palette window, which Basically, the studio palette I'll go over another time, but I'm gonna drag a studio palette one over here. Notice when I'm in. Notice when I'm in. Studio palette, I don't see this little corner thing up here. When I'm in style no name, they're not italic. When I'm in both names, I get both, and you can change it. You can change colors here, <clears throat> and basically what it's saying is if you've dragged stuff in from here. This is the name that you give it when you when it's in this palette. This is the name that it is in this palette, in your in your studio palette, and this is both. Um, this is, as far as I can tell, available in two, either the large thumbnails or the list view. If you're if you're not in list view. Um, then it's just gonna be actually come to th come to look at it it's not even available in list view if you're in large thumbnail it's gonna be there but list and small thumbs small thumbs as, as you can see is too small to actually show the color and list view has it looks like information about the path for the color so we're going to go to large thumbs because that, that's a, that's visually annoying. We're going to go just style name. Normally I just leave it on style name because I actually don't use the studio palette much. So it doesn't actually change anything for me. So past that we've got the new page and the new style section. New page makes a new page over here. These are really great for organizing things. Say you have two characters. You can have a new page for each character and then you don't get your colors mixed up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, this one is the new style. Makes a new style. Say I want this to be red again. I seem to like red. And your other pages are unaffected. To delete a page, either right click and delete page, or click on it and just press. No, guess you have to delete page. I used to have it set up so I could just press delete. It works for styles, apparently. My keyboard shortcuts have been getting messed up recently. I apologize for the confusion. So next we're going to talk about this lovely key here. This is an awesome key. So this works basically the same way your keyframes do in straight animation. Click on one, press a key. Click on the last one, change the color, press a key, and it will fade between them in that one style. Now, granted, I have nothing on the stage to show that, but if you look over here, this color is changing as you go through. You can do that for multiple colors. Let's say I want it to suddenly change to red in the middle here. Just play it and it'll fade from black to red to green. It's really cool. You can have any number of keyframes. You can have any number of colors. You can make a lovely confetti party with colors. I haven't played with it much, but 
yeah, you can guarantee I'm going to be in a future in the future. Um, these just toggle between your keyframes, last keyframe, next keyframe, etc., etc. Um, next button we got is the save button. This will overwrite your current file. Save as button. This will create a new file. Uh, this save as is really helpful if you make it plan on making an edit, but you want to keep your old file in case you don't like the edit and you can't press Control Z enough to get back to your old one. Just save a new file, then you're not actually editing the old one and you have a backup copy. Finally, last but not least, we have this lovely button. This button for this button, we need more styles. We're gonna make this one. Uh, let's make let's make it let's make it mm, bright red. And let's make a new style and let's make this one bright blue. Okay. So I'm clicking on the red one here. If I draw, obviously I'm getting the red. If I draw when I'm on the green, I get the green. But let's try turning this off. Still green. Press red. Still green. Press blue. Still green. If you toggle this, it basically means that whatever you were press pressing, whatever you, color you were using before you press that, is going to be the only one you can use until you turn it back on. You can edit these colors, and any color that was in that color is going to edit get edited with it, but you're still coloring in green. Once you toggle that back, you can color in multiple colors again, toggle it off, and now you cannot color in green because you're stuck on color two. This could be really helpful if you're changing colors of the scene a lot, but you are drawing in a single color. This way, as you're changing things, you don't accidentally say color with color three because you were just adding or removing some of the red, but you really want to be coloring with color one and you forget and toggle it onto color two and other funky things that happens when you're working with set colors. So that's all I got. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions for specific tutorials, let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.